actor, comedian and impressionist Rory Bremner has been diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. We call it ADHD, don't we? That was back in 2011. And he kind of spotted it after seeing similarities with his young nephew who was diagnosed the same year. OK, well, Rory is now a passionate advocate for the ADHD Foundation, who believe that long waiting lists, a kind of lingering stigma and discrimination are leading to a public health crisis here in the UK. That's quite a big statement. Uh, go on. Uh... It is, it is. Well, I think, um, like all of these mental health issues at the moment, it's becoming more to the forefront, but I think we've reached a sort of critical momentum now with ADHD where people are becoming more aware of it. And the NHS yeah. has been putting together this 10-year plan. And I think what's happening now is that ADHD, uh, the foundation and patient groups uh, and the Royal College of Psychiatrists have come together to push the government to do more and to make uh, an ADHD plan, as there is an autism plan already. Um, because this is something that, as far as uh, families watching this are concerned, it affects uh, one in 20. So we're one talking in 20? About, yeah, so we're talking about h half a million, 600,000 school children Tell in this country. Tell me how it manifests itself in you. OK, uh, well, in my case, I mean, I have a sort of... I've, mine is very mild, I have to say, but it, mine is more the sort of inoffensive inattentive um, type of ADHD. But um, imagine your sort of busiest day ever. You're in an open plan office, your computer's on, your phone is buzzing, there's television screens happening, there's a fire engine going past. It's very hard to pay attention and concentrate and produce your best work. For somebody with ADHD, that's what it's like in their head for a lot of the time. Yeah. So you can imagine if you're a, a child at school, and of course everything about our sort of current sort of school paradigm is sit still, concentrate. Mm -hmm. um, so that 600,000 breaks down to maybe one child in every classroom. And, it, it, of course, as a child, it does often manifest itself as being restless, full of energy, and can be distracting. But you've got those qualities, and they've sort of stood you in good stead, yes, absolutely. I would imagine. Yeah. So was there a time when it wasn't helpful? Like, when you were at school, yeah. did it well, make you feel isolated? How did that um, work out? No, I was lucky, but it's, I've always looked upon it as my best friend and my worst enemy. Worst enemy, because it's not that fun to be disorganised or to mm. kind of drop the ball yet again or to take yeah. on too much or to get yourself into trouble by being sort of impetuous. But my best friend in terms of... Um, for Comedians. I mean, Lee Mack is another who's talked about ADHD in the past. And look at Ant, Ant McParkland. He came out recently and actually, um, you know, it makes you who you are. And mm. in fact, a lot of people who deal with their ADHD successfully have managed to find lifestyles or managed to find um, careers which actually, where their ADHD is actually a bonus because alongside the restlessness and the impetuous, impetuousness, uh, there's also a, an incredible ability to, to really, really focus and concentrate on something that really, well, really... Well, that's interesting. I was, I was, finding I was talking your to passion. somebody with autism the other day and, yep. and he was saying he's now in his 40s and uh, he's a friend of mine actually and, and, and he was saying that he's embraced his, his yep. autism yep. and almost channels it and yep. uses it because of the focus the Absolutely. fierce focus that it can give him oh they call it's it called, it's, he called it his gift actually. it's a superpower yes it really yeah. is i mean so i mean you can see quite a lot of them who might be obsessed with gaming or whatever um and they can end up sort of being fantastic um mm. computer mm. programmers and gamers or um mm. sports people as well we're talking about michael phelps uh, yeah. sort of 22 time gold medalist uh, simone biles when the russians hacked their medical records it turned out that she was on ritalin so but the point we're dealing with the people who are at the moment, the, the, the problem with, with ADHD is, is, is uh, the lack of early diagnosis. If it's picked up early, because if it's not picked up or it's, if it's treated too late, I think something like two in five only find out a diagnosis after they've left school. Do you think? And you at that been point, you could have had a whole years of being told Absolutely. off for being naughty That's and inverted commas. I mean, for you though, one of your great gifts is your powers of observation <laughs> of people, isn't it? And I think that's why the impressions are so good because you, you spot the detail of things. Do you find yourself now that you know about this, looking at politicians and stars and, and sort of observing <laughs> an element of mental ill health. I know where, you're, I, I know where you're going with this, Kate. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think Donald Trump very definitely, I would say, ADHD, because it's, it's that kind of the inattentive thing. Because I remember, do you remember when he tweeted about, you know, my daughter, she has this lingerie line and they've stopped doing it in the shops, right? Yeah. You know, they stopped stuck, they've stopped stocking her lingerie, okay? He tweeted that 28 minutes into a presidential briefing. So they were obviously, <laughs> they were obviously saying, uh, Mr. President, this we need to think about uh, North yeah, Korea. Here is the North, the North Korean nuclear. He's going, what are they doing with my daughter's lingerie? <laughs> so, I mean, that uh, of and itself... He was, he was tweeting advice to, to the fire, for the pompiers in Paris, as they were fighting oh, yes. the fire, telling them... Drop to water, the drop water. Drop water, get the, get the choppers in there. He said Notre Dame, because it's one of the great museums, right? <laughs> <laughs> and people, uh, um, and did you see when he was at Paradise? Do you remember that par uh, Paradise and, yeah. uh, that it had been destroyed by f forest fires? He said, yeah. "You know, you see what's happened here in Pleasure. Pleasure, what a name that is." And, <laughs> and they said, "It's Paradise, <laughs> Mr. Pre in Paradise." Uh, this, and he, he's calling it Pleasure. Anyway, but you're not allowed to diagnose him publicly. Is it the, tricky the, for you? Is it tricky for you to do 
women. I mean, for example, can you can you do <laughs> tre- you know can Theresa you do May. Theresa May? No, Jan Ravens does the best Theresa May, yes. and we did it on tour together. And uh, right. I mean, uh, you know, so just, you'd rather Corbyn was prime minister the... than her in the next election? Uh, <laughs> well, no, let's not go too far. Um, <laughs> along the yes, yeah, so I think he's more of a mascot than a leader. Really, he's one of those like grey things you get in the front of a of a lorry. You know, um, <laughs> uh, sort of like somebody's knitted. It's got one eye. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I sort of across the board, but I just tend to. I think now in 2019, you leave the women to the women impression. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a great drag you, act. Is there anyone that you've mm. never been able to do? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, for years, you struggled with, sort of like, I mean, Noel Edmonds, I remember for your ages, and then I realised he had that quaver in the voice. That's right. Now, <laughs> oh, oh, it's the banker, all that. Anyway, I'll tell you who else I think is possibly an ADHD. It's Boris. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. you see, I mean, you notice the sort of, the, the kind of, um, sort of disorganisation, the dishevelledness, uh, mm. the, the, the kind of impetuosity of stuff like that. So, listen, this is something you can work with ADHD. Um, and But the point is, if it is debilitating, that's the thing, because there are people throughout the country who I've talked about, the children, but adults, who are living with this. It's a debilitating thing. We all have it to some extent in terms of, you know, when we, we drop the ball, we take on too much, we lack mm. concentration. It's when it becomes so impairing that you can't sustain a relationship, you can't mm. hold down a job. Yes. So what all these people have done, to, to, uh, done these the practitioners, and the health providers and the college of psychiatrists have said to the government, look, this is a big thing. The science, the evidence is there, it's growing all the time. If you look at brain scans of a typical nine-year-old, you know, you'll see all the pieces sort of there, the jigsaw. If you look at a brain scan of a, a nine-year-old with ADHD, and half the pieces are missing because really? it's wow. a neurodevelopmental mm condition um, and we know about the dopamine levels um, mm. and, and, and what medication can do so the scientific evidence is there the cost uh, the, the, the economic benefit of treating this I mean we reckon that something like 20, a quarter to a third of the prison population would be diagnosable with ADHD imagine mm. Imagine if you could transform that population, if you were able to pick up with early diagnosis that people who will, without budget. diagnosis, end up with problems like addiction. Uh, oh, listen, Roy, but over and time, prison, just in a sentence, what is the treatment? What, what, just very briefly, how do you actually address it? Medication is one of the treatments, right. but also cogn- cognitive behavioural therapy, counselling, and also coping I. strategies. I.e., this is why I behave like this. this absolutely. Is why I think yes, I absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Talk, talking it over, as I say, medication, coping strategies like, you know, writing notes, having a routine, constant list making, mm. and finding a career or a lifestyle in which it is a positive benefit rather than something for which you're always being told off. But if yes. you have ADHD, if you're in a family with ADHD, don't beat yourself up. It's what makes you who you are. Yes. The best advice I ever help had, is somebody there. said, you've just got to love them and understand them. If there are people like this, what we're t- saying now is be aware of the problem and understand. Understanding is a big, big thing because there are bad children, there are naughty children, but there are children who are just wired differently. Mm. And employers are picking up on this now and they're actually employing people good for you, Rory. who are neurodiverse. Good for you. Amazing. It's great to see you again. And good yeah. to see you. Take care. You. Yes. Yeah. All the best. All right. I have to shake your hand as well. You looked a bit... I know, I will do. I will do. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you looked a bit like, oh, is she going to or not? So yes, I... Absolutely. It's one of those... Uh, I haven't got, got, got a farm. No, no, no. Blow kisses. Blow kisses.